This is Daily Planet. Today, three, two, one, ignition. Burning leftover rocket fuel, it's not your average job, but someone's got to do it. Plus, electric dream or a nightmare. We're going to meet a man who's always wanted to create a lightning storm inside and then climb inside a metal cage. Who invents something like that? That stuff is crazy. Peter Terran spending the day pursuing his favorite hobby with his family. He's not going for a nature hike. We've met Peter before and his pastime is a little more extreme. You have a hobby, you follow it with passion, whatever your hobby may be. It's, uh, this happens to be mine because it is actually quite dangerous. These experiments are for electricity experts only. Do not try them at home. They all revolve around a Tesla coil. It's a tall cylinder with long copper wires wrapped around it. And Tesla coil just charges up a capacitor and it discharges it through a spark gap and, and then the transformer action raises that voltage at the top up to around about four or five hundred thousand volts. He doesn't do it for fortune, he does it for fame. Well I'm really a very boring and uninteresting person otherwise really. <laughs> In my job I, I would not uh, have any uh, international uh, acclaim whatsoever. My website you know, with high voltage stuff easily ranks in, in the top ten. He wants to update his website with some cool photos of his new experiments, like summoning electricity onto a metal rod. The sparks will jump onto a rod, which I'm holding in my hand, but I don't want things to go through my hand, so I have a chainmail glove, just like uh, butchers use. That will then pass through an earthed wire, which go back to the Tesla coils. Peter makes some final safety checks, gets into position, and gives the signal. So all the circuit path just goes through the, the rod that I'm holding, the glove, and then back to the wire. It doesn't involve me as part of that circuit path. So it looks pretty scary, but in fact it's very safe and I don't tend to feel any little tickle at all. Everything goes as planned and Peter comes out alive. Next he wants to show off the same thing, but this time with the fluorescent light bulb. A fluorescent tube will, will actually glow if you put it in, um, in a strong electric field, like around a Tesla coil. And he risks getting even closer and shows off the same effect, this time with a neon bulb. No, apart from, it, uh, apart from getting a little warm towards the end. I feel a very slight tickle with one of the first ones, but, uh, but virtually nothing. So. so far, so good. The projects have worked and Peter's still alive. Now for the real reason he's come up here, to set up a unique experiment for his camera. I'm, I'm going to have longer rods on top of the Tesla coil, and these are going to be rotating, and we'll see sparks coming out. Those sparks will bounce off the floor, creating a very cool circle of lightning. Everything's been measured, adjusted, and double-checked. Now it's time for the big show. If you then take a time exposure of that whole 10-second rotation right round to 360 degrees, then what you get is this great big ring of sort of sparks, and that looks uh, quite impressive. With the time exposure, here's how his pictures turned out. Now he wants to get up close and personal with the lightning bolts facing sparks just a few centimeters from his bare face. I plan to have this, the cage set up. It will basically be to give an impressive display of sparks. It, the thing is about this is it's uh, safe because um, I'm actually inside. The electric fields are all confined to the outside so I don't think it's a danger. It's, it's noisy and it's bright and it's uh, probably not good for your health to stay there all day. This hat isn't to protect him from the sun, it's to keep his head from brushing up against the cage. It's the only thing standing between him and half a million volts. Yeah, occasionally you get a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit nervous. Haven't tried that one before, so we'll see here we go. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel anything, it's sort of a really bright light, but uh, yeah, lots of fun. I started doing this uh, almost 30 years ago. Safety is paramount, it's not something you do at home, and I should make that quite clear. I mean, the experiments worked. He's got some great photos, and best of all, Peter's not dead. An all-around successful day. Oh, look, I just like having a good time with, uh, with lots of sparks, really. Uh, insanity, complete and utter insanity. There's no earthly <laughs> reason why a sane person would do this. No.